असलम माई लवली नर्सिस आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन सो टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज कार्डियक टर्म्स सो इन द कार्डियक टर्म्स फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट हीमोडाइनामिक पैरामीटर्स हीमोडाइनामिक पैरामीटर्स सो वट इज हीमोडाइनामिक पैरामीटर्स फर्स्ट इज सी ओ वट इज सी ओ कार्डियक आउटपुट कार्डियक आउटपुट वट इज कार्डियक आउटपुट टोटल वॉल्यूम पंप टोटल वॉल्यूम पंप इन पर मिनट वट्स द नॉर्मल वैल्यू फोर टू एट लीटर पर मिनट सो कार्डियक आउटपुट द मीनिंग इज टोटल वॉल्यूम पंप इन पर मिनट मीन द हार्ट इज पंपिंग ब्लड How much blood in per minute? Four to eight liter per minute. That is the normal range. So first is cardiac output. The other is CI. What is CI? Cardiac index. What is cardiac index? Cardiac output. Cardiac output per body surface area. Per body surface area. How we are calculating this one? CO cardiac output divided by surface area equal is CI. This is the formula. Total cardiac output, surface area, and equal is cardiac index. What is the normal range? Two point five to four point zero liter. per minute per m square this is the normal value of the cardiac index number 3 is cvp cvp is cardiac venous pressure cardiac venous pressure so what is cardiac venous pressure the cardiac venous pressure is pressure in the superior vena cava pressure in the superior vena cava shows shows how much pressure from the blood pressure from the blood is return to the right atrium from superior vena cava so pressure in the superior vena cava the cvp is pressure in the superior vena cava now how we will calculate how we will know this one the shows how much pressure from the blood in is returned to right atrium to superior vena cava so from the right atrium to superior vena cava how much pressure return that is cvp and the to, uh, normal cvp range is 2 to 8 mm per mercury this is the normal range of cvp now the next is map what is map map is mean arterial pressure mean arterial pressure so what is mean arterial pressure average pressure average pressure in the systemic circulation in the systemic circulation your body through the cardiac cycle your body through the cardiac cycle so average pressure in the systemic circulation mean the total your system circulation your body through the cardiac cycle so one cardiac cycle your all systemic circulation your body that is the mean arterial pressure and the normal range is 7 to 70 to 
मिलीमीटर पर मरकरी सो एट लीस्ट सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर मरकरी इज रिक्वायर्ड एट लीस्ट सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर पर मरकरी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एडिक्वेटली प्रोफ्यूज द वाइटल ऑर्गन सो सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर पर मरकरी इज एडिक्वेट फॉर फॉर द बॉडी फॉर द नॉर्मल प्रोफ्यूजन टू द वाइटल ऑर्गन नाओ द नेक्स्ट इज एस वी आर वट इज एस वी आर एस वी आर इज सिस्टेमिक वेस्कुलर रेसिस्टेंस सिस्टेमिक वेस्कुलर रेसिस्टेंस वट इज सिस्टेमिक वेस्कुलर रेसिस्टेंस द रेसिस्टेंस इट टेक्स टू पुश द रेसिस्टेंस इट टेक्स टू पुश through the uh, the resistance it takes to push blood to the circulatory system circulatory system to create blood flow to create blood flow so what is svr systemic vascular resistance the resistance it takes to push blood through the circulatory system to create blood flow that is the systemic vascular resistance so what's the normal range 800 to 800 to 1200 dynes per second per centimeter 800 to 1200 dynes per second per centimeter now for example our cardiac output as i told you the cardiac output normal is 4 to 8 liter per minute this is our cardiac output so if the less volume less volume less cardiac output more volume more cardiac output so heart rate multiply stroke volume heart rate multiply stroke volume is equal to cardiac output our heart rate and multiply stroke volume equal to cardiac output what is stroke volume so stroke volume the stroke volume amount of blood amount of blood pumped out of the ventricle with each beat or contraction so stroke volume amount of blood pumped out of the ventricle with the each beat of volume with each beat or contraction that is stroke volume so our total heart rate multiply stroke volume is our equal is cardiac output now what is contractility i told you know each beat or contraction so what is contractility the contractility force strength of contraction of the heart muscles contractility force strength of contraction of the heart muscles that is contractility now our, our heart the cardiac output is if less the cardiac output is less what will happen less perfusion to the body less perfusion to the body if the less perfusion to the body what will happen L lack of consciousness lung sound wet lung sound wet due to back flow the blood is not going properly to the all vital organs and what will happen 
blood is going to back back flow that this why the lung sounds wet you will listen crackles shortness of breath skin will be cold and clammy skin will be cold and clammy decrease urine output weak peripheral pulses weak peripheral pulses if this all symptoms are there it's mean patient have decreased cardiac output now the ejection fraction ejection fraction what is ejection fraction ef the ejection fraction is percentage of blood expelled from the left ventricle from the left ventricle with every contraction with every contraction percentage of blood expelled from the left ventricle with every contraction what is the normal ejection fraction 50 to 70 percent for example if the ejection fraction is 55 percent 55 percent if the ejection fraction is the heart is pumped out 55 percent of what inside of the left ventricle just an example if your ejection fraction is 55 percent it's mean the heart is pumping out the heart is expel pumping out 55 percent of what is inside in the left ventricle so this is ejection fraction now we will talk about preload and afterload so what is preload amount of blood amount of blood return to the return to the right side of the heart right side of the heart at the end of diastole at the end of diastole so preload is amount of blood return to the right side of the heart right side of the heart at the end of diastole that is preload now after load what is after load pressure pressure that the left ventricle the left ventricle has to pump against the resistance against the resistance it must overcome it must overcome to circulate blood so after load how we are doing clinically measured by systolic blood pressure so pre load is a diastole end of diastole but the after load clinically we are measuring by systolic blood pressure so in the pre load you see the amount of blood returned to the right side of the heart but in the after load pressure that the left ventricle has to pump against the resistant it must overcome to circulate blood so that how we are um, uh, uh, checking this one is Uh, clinically measured by systolic blood pressure so now we will talk about the electrical conduction of the heart electrical conduction of the heart what is electrical conduction of the heart actually your heart conduction system our heart conduction system is the network of signals is the network of signals that keeps that keeps 
your heart beating so the heart the heart conduction system is the network of signals that keeps your heart beating these electrical signals these electrical signals make your heart make your heart contract or relax contract or relax each contraction also control each contraction also control blood flow through your heart so electrical conduction of the heart is a conduction heart conduction system is the network of signals that keep your heart beating the electrical signals make your heart contract or relax each contraction also control blood flow through your heart this is the electrical conduction of the heart now i will explain you how this system is going through now this electrical conduction of the heart the electrical conduction of the heart how is working first the signals go through keep in your mind one thing send a big bounding pulse so you will never forget send a big bounding pulse send mean sa node sinus node so first signal go to the sinus node then go to to the av node atrioventricular node then go to the bundle of his then go to the bundle branches then purkinje fibers so like this signals pass through the all process first go to the sinus node then atrioventricular node then bundle of his then bundle branches then purkinje fibers this is the electrical conduction of the heart i hope you like my lecture if you like please share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to push the bell button so you can receive my next videos notification inshallah in the next video we will talk about the flow of blood through the heart our next topic inshallah keep in uh, keep me in your prayers take care of your family and your yourself thank you very much allah hafiz